Philip Schofield so brave this week he came out whilst a bloke in the pub murmurs, what's that about? Keep that to yourself, why shout it wide? And also, why is there no straight pride? Well, to the blokes in the pub, it's still such a mystery, even though this month's supposed to be gay history. Well, let me tell you, in the 80s and 90s, even now, some were kicked out of home for that confession. And in the 60s and 70s, you could be forced out of work, lose all your possessions. In the 50s, if you were found out, you'd be arrested and chemically castrated, or like Alan Turing with his suicide, go from people's hero to people humiliated. Then, from 1945 to 1939, gays were not out, they were locked in for a time, and those few who survived and let out would be fine, except they were kicked straight back in. It was the 40s, still a crime. Then that continues right back to the century before Oscar Wilde's prison hard labour, just one out of countless more. And if the blokes in the pub want to know what Philip Schofield's about, well, before gays got prison, the blokes in the pub watched gays' necks get hanged out. They had trains, fridges, freezers, electricity, vaccines, anaesthetics, engines, magnets, motors, machines, telegraphs, transmitters, even cans, lamps and lights, a photo, a type of passenger car, the first computer, for heaven's sake, they had a lawnmower and bikes. But in modern 1835, whilst oh so civilised, if you're gay in that day, you just can't be alive. So I'll listen to Phil and not the nonsense the blokes in the pub spout, and thank the fills of the past that today this fill can come out. Gay History Month 2020. Word up.